My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, guten Morgen aus Deutschland, good morning from Germany. Miss Amber posted another video and it's titled What My Crush Thinks of My Size. Most shocking way in yet and the whole thing is 10 minutes long so I figured I could do it before work. Here we go, let's see what she has to say. Going by the first impression, Pillow Mountain is in place behind her uh, and her eyeliner is drawn almost all the way out, let's say halfway out to her temples because she figures that's gonna make her uh, look like she's lost any weight and I don't know what that black dot is on the side there um, but her eyes look tired she looks exhausted but it is no wonder imagine you have a diet like hers and uh, you know all you ever eat is, is salt laden greasy foods and you don't move that's what happens so uh, let's click start here. Let's go. Hello, hello. What is going on, Amber? It is your favorite dainty 500 pound girly pop. Okay, neither favorite, neither dainty, and also not girly pop, but go off. And welcome to my new weigh in video. You guys are about to be shook. So today. Uh, no, not really, because um, your weigh-ins always go along with you lying about your weight, and so there's nothing to be shaken about. <laughs> it is February 14th, Wednesday, Valentine's Day. So, happy Valentine's Day. That is why we are wearing some pink earrings. That is why we have a heart here. So, I was debating between these earrings or actually my Barbie earrings, but I don't know. I chose these. Uh, Barbie in 600 pounds. I don't know. It's for me in my head. It doesn't go together So anyways, happy freaking Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to my audience as well I couldn't post anything and I was at work and so I didn't celebrate that day I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. I personally am so I want to start yeah, and you need to wash your hair because you're uh your greasy roots are like out there. Start off this video by saying, I'm sorry there was no what I ate today on Friday. Oh, I appreciate it because I can't stand you eating. Uh, because what I, what I ate in a day is usually what somebody actually ate and not show yourself eat it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I just thought it would have been the most pointless video in the whole world. It probably would have been one minute long. And you will find out why. Oh, because you're on a diet. You're totally controlling what you're uh, eating in a day. Okay. <laughs> Later on in this video, why I actually did not upload one. But I will say right now that I am sorry for not like being more communicative. Is that a word? I'm it's better than uh, uh, corresponding with a person that's sitting next to you. <laughs> Just sorry for not like letting you guys know like, hey, there's not going to be a video on Friday. I will try to get better at that. So before we get to my weigh-in and what I've been doing this week, etc., etc., we're going to answer the three questions that you guys asked me. So the first question. Okay, hit me. Is what diet has made you feel the best physically? <sighs> Lord, give me strength. If anybody in my audience understands why a 600 pounder that does not lose weight or hasn't lost weight in years constantly feels the need to talk about the best ways to lose weight, please let me know. Why is the 600 pounder still talking about all of that? I do not understand. Why doesn't she put together Legos? 
you know, or do something different. But her constantly bringing attention to how huge she is and how much she eats and what diet works for her, which we all know there is none. There is no diet that works for her. I was only a vegan for probably less than a week, maybe seven days. She also, ooh, look at the freeze frame. She also uh, looks manic and sounds manic. So maybe a week. I don't know. It was somewhere around there. It was not long at all, but I just remember feeling literally physically the best. I was lighter on my feet. I literally felt like a feather just floating through the world. Mm, no, you're getting desperate, honey bun, sweetie pie. I mean, trolling is your thing, but dude. World, Like, it made me feel really, really good, but I wasn't eating the healthiest. Like, my first meals in the day were super healthy. I was eating, like, carrots and hummus and things. Yeah, she gets up at 2 in the afternoon and eats hummus and uh, carrots. Okay. Things like that. And then after work, I would go home, because this was years ago. This is when I was actually a PCA worker. I would go home... PCA worker where she actually worked only four hours a day and uh, uh, usually would just sit there and annoy the shit out of other people that was working there and that were actually living there and uh, just vlog them, you know, without their consent. And I would have tons of white rice and beans and Fritos because Fritos are vegan. And then I would like literally binge on Oreos. But I think something about taking out all of the animal products um, just made me feel better, but I am not a vegan girly pop. It's you are not even a girly pop, uh, let alone a vegan. Never going to happen. But regardless, it made me feel physically the best. So the second question is, how do you feel about the success of Tammy Slayton? So I really wanted to choose this question because I feel like people compare us a lot. That's kind of just something that happens on the internet. Like all fat girls get compared and that's fine. I get it. But what I feel about her success is happiness. I feel inspired. She motivates me. Not really, because when uh, Tammy really got going on her weight loss, uh, this is when uh, Amber here put on some more pounds and told us uh, to save our breath. And uh, she doesn't need a doctor. She doesn't need advice. You know that clip? Just it's not even just success within like her weight. It's just like success within like who she is as a person. Uh, my question would be, Amber, how do you feel about the fact that you weigh more than Tammy and Amy put together now? Does that, that not make you feel ashamed at all? Like, I've always liked Tammy. Years and years and years ago, you might have heard, you know, troll in, throw like a shade here and there. Oh, okay. Uh, whenever she doesn't stand behind what she says, she calls it trolling. Okay. Whatever. But it was never like true, authentic how I felt about her. I've always liked Amy. I've always liked Tammy. When I see someone, regardless of who it is, when I see them lose hundreds of pounds, when I see people improve themselves in any sort of way, when I see just success in any way, like, I'm genuinely happy for the person. Yes, you are. Of course you are. And you never bash that, um, uh, Beck when uh, they were losing weight while together with you. Hmm? Amber, 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 you have a very bad memory. Look at that look on her face. She is a monster. It's just like seeing Tammy grow and improve in like every single way while also going through the death of her husband. Like it just is very empowering and I am just in so much support of her. It's insane. It's, this is insane. A lot of people think that I'm like jealous of her. No, I'm looking at what she's doing and I'm like, damn, I can do that too. But you don't do a thing to achieve it. None of it. Nothing. Nada. Nix. Nine. She is showing that if she can do it, anyone can do it. Okay. Then why are you still stuffing your face all day long and uh, using filters to appear um, skinnier? I mean, not, not even skinnier. That's not even the word. But uh, remotely smaller than you are. 
and remotely less grotesque? I do not understand. Okay, so the third question is, what does your Valentine slash crush think of your size? She must have asked herself that question because I don't know of one person out here that believes that there's any kind of person in Amber's life. And yes, I de did see the comment and I did read up on Reddit, even though, guys, I have a life and that is why I do not check on Amber on other platforms. I mean, that TikTok uh, was already out of control because I was thinking, now I'm on a different platform. And, uh, you know, that that's just wrong. It's too much time investment for the poor content that Amber delivers. And I'm basically just here for her YouTube presence because this is where she does or did and still does all the damage by lying her ass off. And so I know that there's this Alexis girl that says she has a girl friend and uh, she's not uh, uh, romantically involved with Amber uh, but here she is still talking about some some kind of crush I don't know what she's talking about I don't care and with her lying so much if she can't prove it on camera it's not happening so it seems and that's totally aside from the fact that she's non-stop giving the lying vibe it's like every single time I'm in a relationship this question is like always a question that is asked which i get it i understand because it's a thought that i actually have internally subconsciously uh, how can you have a thought externally maybe saying it out loud okay consciously i'm aware of the thought sometimes i'm not aware of the thought it's a thought that is always there so i can understand why other people also think it but i can safely say in every relationship that i have ever been in their answers are always the exact same. It's very, I don't see you for your size. I think you are beautiful. You have an amazing personality. She's shaking her head as she's saying it and then she's looking away. And of course she does because we know from her ex-partners that they're not really taken with her personality. And that's exactly what my and that again is totally aside from the fact that she smells she doesn't take care of herself yeah she smears lipstick on her face and she puts the eyeliner almost all the way out to the temples uh yeah and she's wearing chokers that must uh have all the crud you know rubbing from from her neck in between the little things you know the loops and whatever uh but uh yeah, uh, living with somebody that doesn't take care of themselves, that weighs over 600 pounds. Every one of them took off. Every one of them dumped her. Of course, she's not mentioning that here because she's still trying to um, make people believe that she's a very desirable person. She has a crush. She has all kinds of friends she spends uh, a week with. And then it turns out it was uh, it was old clips, except for the ones with the pink uh, nails and uh, yeah. Valentine said this year, she says that she doesn't see me for my size. I'm beautiful. We always have really good conversation. See how she keeps shaking her head because there is no crush. I don't know why she's doing it. Some people in my comment section said uh, it's because uh, Dana and uh, Dana has gotten engaged or something or married even. I don't know. And uh, Destiny uh, and. Uh, uh, what's her name? Lexi, Alexis, is that her name too? I don't know, that there's something going on with them and so uh, Amber cannot sit here on Pillow Mountain at 600 pounds, um, not having anyone. And so around Valentine's Day, of course, she had to start lying about somebody she's been talking about, t talking to um, since September. And like, no matter what we're talking about, she thinks I'm funny. Like, she finds me physically attractive. This is my side. Yes, you keep shaking that uh, hollow head of yours. And uh, yes, you're, you're so attractive. You're so desirable. You're just a good catch. And uh, it's a mystery to me how nobody has ended up in your life yet. And that wouldn't be keen on being seen in your vlogs. Uh, <laughs> this isn't something that she sees. And trust me, I get it. It's, it's a weird... 
thing because it's like how are you do you not see my size like it's it's confusing to me see the size wouldn't be such a problem if at the same time she wasn't such a horror of a human being uh, but that's that's what makes it unbelievable not the fact that uh, her as a 600 pounder can um, find somebody that likes her but because of her personality it makes it unbelievable you know and it's always the same answer from every partner I've been with. That is a flat out lie, Amber. And I do not know why you think that people are out here that have never seen any of your vlogs um, or any of Destiny's live streams or Becky's statements. You are a liar. I almost want to say maybe to an extent I understand because it's like when I'm in a relationship with someone, I don't see their flaws. I don't see them for their flaws. What you see them, you acknowledge them, and you frequently comment on them in such a mean way. That is part of the reason why you're known as such a horror of a human being. You are petty. You are mean. And you cannot deal with the fact when other people have success or they're uh, popular for some reason, you instantly have to bash them. Flaw, I don't stop loving them for their flaw or whatever it may be or something that they're super insecure about. So it's like maybe in the same way that's the way they view me is like, I don't see you for that flaw. I don't see you for that thing that you're insecure about. I don't know, but regardless, my Valentine says that I'm beautiful inside and out. And hey, who is your Valentine? Who is your Valentine? Why can you not talk about that? You're trying to use somebody else off camera again for content and you're making it up and you're shaking your head the entire time. And that makes me really happy. Ew. Moving on to the next segment. Now she's saying that the last weigh in was 515 point something. I don't care. And that was during the time. No, and then her friends came. Uh, uh okay her imaginary friends you know blah 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 hello it's ready so this is from uh uh valentine's day yesterday okay stepping on whatever 501.2 pounds oh. she is totally off her rockers okay a lot of you are probably super confused like no, I'm not confused. You're a liar. What is happening? Let me explain. Not only is my mental health right now at the peak that it's been in a very long time. It seems to me that she is on something or just flat out manic, but it is annoying as F. I feel happy. I feel hopeful. Happy and hopeful. No, you give the vibe right now of being bitter and mean um not sure why and i love how that lipstick is smeared all over her cubits bow that never fails to amuse me i feel motivated and i said you know what i'm gonna get my shit together like i need to get my shit together okay we're gonna see it like uh, you don't have to flap about it because you've been lying about it for years and so if you actually were losing weight, eventually we would start seeing with it, which never happens on your channel because you don't lose weight. So uh, you can run that mouth all you want. Eventually, we're going to have to be able to see it, Amber, because again, this is not a radio show. You are vlogging, which means we can see you. So I went back to something that is what works for me i'm only eating. if she says intermittent fasting i'm gonna cut her off right on the spot eating about once or twice a day so i know that's like whoa that's crazy but i feel good when i do that every time i ate though it was a takeout meal so like an example if i wanted seafood boil i said you know what i'm gonna get seafood boil i'm gonna allow myself to have this meal I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, her talking about uh, what food she has while she's not visibly losing any weight is useless to me. And I still have to hit the shower. And so I'm going to skim through her um, video here. 
Yeah, sure enough. So she's lying some more. She's given some more details because liars usually do that. You know, unnecessary details about what she's done, what she will be doing. And I want to see results, Amber. You flapping, sitting on Pillow Mountain is not impressive at all. And so I'm going to cut her off. I'm uh, going to get ready for work. Thank you for listening to this. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.